Right now, there are 52 volcanoes actively erupting on the planet. One of these erupting volcanoes is Santa Maria in Guatemala, which produced the third largest volcanic eruption of the entire 20th century in 1902. Ever since 1922, it has been producing intermittent explosive eruptions via a series of ever-growing lava domes on its southern flank, which is known as Santiago. With this being said, here are a few of this week's major volcano-related news stories. Southeast of Jakarta in Indonesia, the Tengkuban Parahu volcano is displaying elevated levels of activity and could produce a phreatic eruption with little warning. Also, in Italy, the Volcano Volcano off the island of Sicily is still showing significant signs of unrest as a recent dataset showed the highest fumarole temperatures during this latest period of activity. And, in New Zealand, the White Island Volcano began a new volcanic eruption on February 15th. For context, White Island is one of New Zealand's most active volcanoes and is located 50 kilometers north-northeast of Wakatane. It is most famous for producing a deadly volcanic eruption in 2019, which marked one of its many phreatic eruptions. Phreatic eruptions do not eject any lava, but are instead large volcanic steam explosions which eject ash and volcanic gases that occur after being heated from underlying magma. In the case of this week's eruption, the White Island volcano once again produced a series of small phreatic explosions. The results of these can be best observed via the web camera which GNS Science has of the main fumarole-rich area, where on occasion the gases produced by these vents change in color from white to gray. While the white represents primarily water vapor, the gray represents fine particles of ash. Since no large explosions were visible in the main crater, it can be assumed that the phreatic explosions were completely confined within the magma conduit below the crater's surface. The ash created by these minor explosions were then released onto the surface over a period of 5 to 25 minutes, after which the gas turned white once again. Over the next several days to weeks, these minor phreatic emissions are likely to continue, and as a result, the White Island volcano remains at an alert level of 2 on a 0 to 5 scale. At the island of Volcano in Italy, volcanic unrest has been ongoing since October 1st of 2021. This period of unrest is caused by a shallow intrusion of magma which has caused the ground to uplift by several centimeters, earthquake activity to increase, and most visibly caused a near constant and strong plume from its summit fumaroles. These fumaroles have released large amounts of carbon dioxide and sulfur dioxide into the landscape, which resulted in two partial evacuations of the island. While these emissions peaked between November and December of 2021, the period of unrest is not yet over. While carbon dioxide emissions and earthquakes have either decreased or remained constant since then, they are still quite elevated. However, the most notable piece of data arrived on the 11th of February when a fumarole at Volcano's main cone jumped in temperature from 150 to 430 degrees Celsius. This jump is a warning sign which suggests that while magma may no longer be intruding shallower into the crust, it is still affecting the underlying hydrothermal system. In other words, a surprise phreatic explosion at Volcano's crater is now quite possible. In Indonesia, the Tengkuban Parahu stratovolcano is showing signs of unrest, as since January 30th it has produced intermittent but strong gas emissions visible as white plumes from its crater fumaroles. These non-eruptive plumes intensified on February 12th at 11.43 am local time, creating a 100 meter high plume which originated from the middle of its three craters known as Ratu. The next day, similar episodes of intense activity occurred, resulting in 20 to 60 meter high plumes. My interpretation of these emissions is that something has changed in the underlying hydrothermal system, which is being heated to higher than normal temperatures. As a result, a surprise phreatic eruption could occur without warning over the next several weeks. While the volcano's alert level remains at green, tourists have been advised to not go into any of the craters at this time. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new patron Carl Huster for supporting this channel.